Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to restore an Apple TV on a computer. So it'll work on either Mac or PC, you just need the iTunes software. And you need a, I believe this is a micro, but it could be a mini, I don't really know 100% the difference between the two, but this is what it looks like. It's the thinner one, it's used to charge uh, like Android phones and whatnot, but you're going to need that. And I already have the other end plugged into the Mac. And then you're going to need your Apple TV and the power cord. And the way I you set this up, you have to plug it in a certain order for it to work that I've found personally. So the first thing you're going to want to plug in is the micro USB cable to the back of the unit. And then that way when you plug power into it, it automatically will know it's trying to be restored. So once you have that plugged in, to the little port here on the bottom of the Apple TV and into your computer then you're going to go ahead and plug the power on to it and you'll notice it'll it'll start flashing very fast now this is the way I did it with the iTunes software already open and it worked three times in a row so make sure your iTunes software is open and make sure it's plugged in through the data port and then plug in power and it'll start flashing very quickly then you'll notice here on the computer on iTunes it'll automatically pop up and saying it's in recovery mode so you can either eject it or you can go ahead and restore it so we're gonna go ahead and restore because that's the point of video click restore it's gonna it will download a newer the newest version for it and update it that's the only way you can do it there is a way I think you can do it to use different software but for the sake of this simple video we're going to do this do it this way so we're going to click restore and update and then we're going to go through the agreements you know yeah I signed my life away blah 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 and then we wait you see up here in the corner it's downloading the software so once the software is downloaded We'll be back. Okay, now that the software is downloaded, you can see iTunes is start to process the file and will begin to update your Apple TV. So we'll wait here just a second. And then it's preparing the Apple TV. And throughout the whole progress, the light has been flashing at that pace. Constant, fast pace. That's what it's been flashing at. And, and it just slowed down. So this process, these restore processes usually take forever, <laughs> but just bear with me here. Alright, now you can see up in the top, it's actually beginning to restore it. And we're a slow flash now. So once it's done, we'll skip all this for you. Alright, and if everything went okay like it's all supposed to be automated you'll get a pop-up message that says your apple tv has been restored to factory settings please disconnect it and reconnect it to your tv hit done and then you're all done all you gotta do is disconnect your apple tv from the computer and then go plug it back into your tv and it'll be ready to set up again just like when you first got it all right if you like the video like it subscribe i'm gonna do a lot more how to videos um but yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.